Hey, Authentic Life Church, uh, Pastor Jeff here. And um, if you haven't heard the news already, um, Authentic Life Church is going to begin our phase one of uh, gathering again in person tomorrow, uh, June 7th at 9 a.m. and 1030. And so uh, let us know if you have any questions, but 9 a.m. and 1030 are going to be the services. Now, there's going to be some restrictions and a lot of changes. And so first of all, let me say this. We're doing all of this through the filter of our um of values of love, uh, patience, uh, being gracious, and obviously all we, all we do is for the grace of God. So um, again, patience, love, uh, being gracious, uh, being graceful with one another, gracious with one another, and then also all we do is for the glory of God. And so with all of that in mind, tomorrow our first service is at 9, and here's one of the um, big changes is, uh, well, there's quite a few changes, um, but one of the first ones is this. Because we meet in the school and we have that partnership with the school, they have asked us to keep it under 50 people. And so that's why we're having two services, so that anybody that wants to come can come and join us for uh, worship in person. So 9 o'clock um, if it just just hear me out if, if we get past the um, get past that point 49 people then we'll have to have people come back to the 1030 uh, service and um, so just if for some reason you come and, and you get turned away it's not because we don't love you it is because we love you and uh, we want to be able to be physically distanced and also um, just abide with that partnership that we have with the Vale School District so Tomorrow, 9 a.m. is our first service. The second one is at 10.30. When you come in, you're gonna notice some things that are different. We're not gonna have kids live for the first few weeks. Um, that's not anything new. We've been talking about that for a while, um, but uh, no kids live, so they're gonna be in church with us, which is gonna be awesome. And um, and so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Parents, whether you're coming to the 9 service or 10.30 service, hear me out on this one. Bring some things for your children, right? Or your grandkids or whoever that's coming with you. Bring some papers, bring some crayons, um, you know, give them something to do if you don't think they'll be able to sit and listen the entire time. So um, bring that. We At this particular point, for the first couple weeks, we're not going to be providing any of that. We're not going to provide the busy boards because it's just hard to sanitize those things. And, um, and you can't really sanitize the crayons and stuff. So bring crayons, bring pens, bring some things for uh, your kids to do as they uh, worship. Uh, when you walk in, you're going to notice a few different things. You're going to notice a camera that we have in the back. You're going to notice a new stage. Um, you're going to notice uh, chairs quite a bit different. So uh, we're doing the best we can to have them spread out as far as we can, the six feet. And then also you're just going to notice that this is just going to look a whole lot different. And that's going to be awesome because we get to gather together and we're looking forward to it. So um, we will have masks available as well. And so there'll be hand sanitizer, there'll be wipes. And so before service, things are going to be sprayed down and wiped down. And then in between services, we're going to spray things down and wipe them down. And then afterwards as well. So uh, nine o'clock, if you signed up on Facebook for the nine o'clock service or the 1030 service, please go to that service because that will help us know who's coming and, and uh, to which service. So if you sign up for the nine, go to the nine. If you sign up for the 1030, go to the 1030. And if something needs to change in that, let me know to make sure that there's enough space. Um, so for those that are, um, for whatever reason, um, just say, hey, it's not time for me to come back yet. Maybe it's a health reason. Maybe it's age. Maybe it is vulnerability uh, with your immune system. Whatever it is, maybe you just prayed about it and you talked about it as a family. Just said, hey, we're going to give it a couple weeks. No worries. Uh, we are still going to um, have our service online, 1030. You should be able to do it on our website, just like you have been, AuthenticLifeAZ.com, and then also on Facebook. So you just go to um, AuthenticLifeAZ, and uh, you'll be able to find our Facebook uh, on there and just be able to watch it live on there. So um, we will have our sermon notes posted on there. You'll still be able to go to AuthenticLifeAZ.com's homepage and be able to find the connection card, prayer request, uh, sermon notes, and also the secure way to give your online uh, tithes and offerings. And so all of that will still be there, and it'll be there next week as well. So uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. But um, if you need to bring your own mask, bring your own mask, but we'll have some as well. If you want to wear gloves, wear gloves. But know this, if you're a hugger or you're a handshaker or a fist bumper, we're just we're not going to do that tomorrow, right? So just because we love one another, even if you feel or anybody else feels it's perfectly safe, let's not do that tomorrow. Um, and just to just to be gracious and loving uh, towards one another, we're just going to refrain from that. Um, so parents, bring things for your kids. Um, we know it's going to be a little bit noisy in there. That's okay. The service is going to be an hour 
hour or less. And so uh, we're doing that because everybody's gonna be in there also to be able to allow for both services. Um, if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Um, but that's what's going on. We'll see you tomorrow, either 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., or online uh, at 10.30. Love you guys. God's best to you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.